Hi there, this is Bob and Bob's Garage Shop again. Um, I just wanted to give a quick tour of the hardware that's used on the Raspberry Pi implementation of the uh, tracking system, the CNC TRK, the CNC track tracking system. And uh, so first uh, you're seeing the Raspberry Pi head on here and what I'll do is just rotate this around Hopefully the focus won't go too bad, and uh, we'll see what the other components are as we uh, look at the back side of this unit. Yikes, look at there. Ooh, man. <clears throat> anyway, here's the, uh, here's the pie, and I've just put all this stuff together uh, onto the frame that came with the TFT uh, LCD display. Uh, so the things you can see, <clears throat> the very top, I'll just start at the top. Let me zoom out here a little bit. At the very top, here's a, uh, this is just a uh, HDMI to VGA converter. There's a gender mender, and then here's the connector that came with the display. This is a 15 pin D sub connector that came with this display. Uh, the cabling is just a big cluster down here. I didn't want to cut cables, so I just wound them up and they're just sitting here. In the middle of this is the Raspberry Pi Model B. Um, uh, just takes up the center of the uh, of the board. On the right hand side, you can see the uh, PIC NC. Uh, version 2 board. That's this uh, board here with the uh, red LED on it. And uh, that LED indicates power. And then there's a flashing LED on the right, uh, upper right. Uh, and when the uh, Linux CNC is fired up, that unit flashes faster, uh, indicating that the uh, Linux CNC is uh, communicating with the system and it's ready to uh, to drive the uh, positioner. Down on the lower right is a little 5 volt converter. That's a 3 amp or a 15 watt converter uh, basically from China where that powers the Raspberry Pi and then the power for the PIC NC version 2 comes off the Pi and uh, there's some cabling in there to uh, do that. <clears throat> the connector at the very top, this is a 25 pin uh, parallel port connector uh, and that is that plugs directly into the positioner. So uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, then down here this is the uh, power supply cable feeding the power converter. That's the whole tour. Uh, it's everything uh, that we need to make this system work. Of course, there's a micro SD card in here on the Pi that holds our operating system. Now, in my case, I'm using uh, for uh, control of the Raspberry Pi. I have a there's a 2.4 gigahertz um, uh, dongle in one of the USB ports, and that powers. <coughs> excuse me. That allows me to communicate with uh, this keyboard. This is a Logitech. Uh, keyboard, uh, Wi-Fi, you know, cordless type of thing. This is a K400R. Uh, um, the function keys on there are not my favorite, but as far as the unit working with the Pi, it works fantastic. So uh, I keep using that. Some keyboards have um, some keyboards will have um, more. Uh, uh, function keys that are more accommodating. The uh, the Logitech, you have to press a uh, special function key just to hit a function key, F1, F2, and so on. The other thing I've used with this, which basically uh, was, was intended for the field, is one of these little cheap uh, Chinese uh, keyboards. This thing works fine as well and the function keys are direct there's no there's no special function needed uh, when you're firing up the raspberry pi uh, and the linux cnc boom you hit f1 f2 and you power it up the cursor controls work for moving the uh, 
the positioner. Uh, these things are super cheap, and uh, it's also wireless, then, uh, and and is is fully uh, functional with that pie. So, other than the keys being a little small for the big fat hands, uh, this thing works just fine. And in fact, in the field, that's what I use. But for development, if I'm doing some configuration on the Pi, then certainly the, uh, the Logitech's a better choice. So there's one last view of the uh, system, and uh, that's all there is to it. I mean, uh, this thing works just great. Okay, that's it. This is Bob at Bob's Garage Shop. Thank you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.